and this is for the Elite Wrestling Entertainment Heavyweight Championship, and we see... Is that his manager there, or is that Hal Cohn? Hal Cohn doesn't have his mask on. No, that's not Mini Hal Cohn. And I interviewed Princess Reyes earlier in the night. He is certainly not lacking in confidence. Looks like he likes riding on that rope. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, Princess Reyes is certainly ready to, ready to get it on this evening. Just not so sure if he's ready for the ring. I mean, uh, I'm not sure. He looks drunk in his own ego, Thomas. But it almost takes that to be a champ. What the? And we've got Ricky Mandel. Certainly an outlandish character in and of itself. He's got the puppets that he talks to. And he's got a big tail. Not that I have a lot of room to talk about if anybody's seen me on Facebook, but, it, but he's got these characters he comes out to, and is that a balloon up his ass? You know, as a as a commentator, I'm I'm really I'm expected to to be on top of my game and and, and have, hold a level of professionalism and and call things as I see them. But right now, I'm looking at a guy who calls himself Princess, and I'm looking at a guy who has these beings that he talks to, and he's coming out here with a with a balloon up up his keister. Yeah. You called it like you saw it, Thomas. He definitely has a balloon up his ass. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I apologize that this is not exactly the, uh, the most professional call right here, but I, I really don't know how else to call this here. But he's taken out of the ring. He is a dangerous animal. He should be locked up in a zoo. Reyes doesn't look too happy with the puppetry. I, that, that's actually a legitimate concern. I don't think I want it. I don't think I want that balloon. He's tugging on the wrong end there, Thomas. Okay, this is a this is supposed to be for the vacant EWE Heavyweight Championship. Instead, we've got a guy in the ring playing with balloons and trying to make animals out of them and failing miserably. And we've got a princess on the outside. It definitely doesn't look like your traditional princess, but you know we're well, covering I mean, it doesn't exactly here. look like the mu like the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, or you never know. Now you see the Commissioner Lopez walking around with the EWE Championship. It's like he's going to the back. He's had enough of this puppet show. And of course the fans are referring to that, that character that Ricky Landale brought to the ring. Princess Reyes is not happy about it. Now there's Carl. Carl with the K, Thomas. I don't blame him, man. That thing looks menacing. You think Carl knows where Ricky's hand's been? The way he was tugging on that balloon, I'm not so sure if it's the most hygienic. Um, well, I mean, given certain outbreaks that have taken place recently, I mean, that's certainly a valid question. He's going to do princess push-ups. Apparently he's got to have his pre-batch calisthenics and just like a princess, he's doing the push-ups right at his knees. Reyes is in the best physical shape of his life. You have to to be a princess. Mandel could take some notes physically from Reyes. Well, I like to filter through all the push-ups and the, and the characters and the balloons and everything and get down the brass tacks. These are two young, hungry competitors looking to become the heavyweight champion of EWE. This is to, this is to determine who's going to shape the future of EWE heading into, two, into 2020. 
Well, it's going to be a hell of a ride with either of these two combatants. They, they both look like a fry short of a Happy Meal. Seems like uh, Reyes might have better places to be. He fancies himself as being a princess, but I don't think the crowd here in Glendale is going to be throwing him any tick or tape parades anytime soon. It's like he's going home, Tom's. Hydration is important. You know, eight glasses of water a day keep a princess very beautiful, and Reyes is glowing with a glittering smile. Here are those boots. I'm not that short. I'm not that short. Looks like Mandel's trying to get down to his level. Oh, he's serious. He's taking the shirt off. I must know Reyes has dropped uh, several pounds since we last saw him in EWE. And uh, that chiseled physique that you're seeing right now is uh, that of a champion. He has dropped instance. a little bit of weight there. I mean, I think he dropped the sword. <laughs> and now it looks like we're finally gonna get gonna get some competition going here. So both competitors are evenly matched physically. <coughs> And I think Ricky Landale might have a slight torque advantage with this breath of war knuckle lock. And driving him back down, but Reyes is powering him back up here. He says he's stronger. I don't, I have to debate that. Uh, he looks much stronger than me, Thomas. It, it, it takes a strong constitution to be a princess. An army of ants looks stronger than you. <laughs> And now a side headlock on the part of Princess Reyes. Really aggressive with that, but a shot to the midsection is going to break up that head headlock here. And now negotiating, negotiating a top wrist lock here, right back into the side headlock position. Referee Paul Pritchard checking to make sure that the headlock stay, stays legal. Off the ropes right here. Bounces off and knocks him down with a shoulder tackle. He's wearing the princess down, but uh, it takes, takes, takes a lot more than that to have the tiara, if you know what I mean. Steps over the man right here. Tries to negotiate a, a hip toss right here. Takes him down and a back elbow. And now sizing him up right now. Ducks him up a clothesline. And a crossbody block takes him out right here. One, two, and only gets a two count. He sure is taking it to Reyes. Hard knife edge chop in the corner. You know, Mandel's had a, a storied career. I mean, he's, he's been in the ring with a lot of the greats. I'm not so sure if uh, Reyes is ready for this. Well, Reyes, I better make an adjustment, and he, he better make an adjustment quickly. This is for the championship. Irish whip into the turnbuckle and knocks him down with a big knife edge chop. Ooh! He is really being taken to task right here, but Princess Reyes perhaps has had enough here. <coughs> Now Ricky Landale off the ropes right here, getting countered by, Re by Reyes. Hangs over the ropes right here and tosses Princess Reyes right there on the apron. Ricky Landale and a big knee knocks him to the outside. Be interesting to see how Princess gets up from this. Uh, there's no uh, mats around the EWE ring. That's obviously concrete. Hopefully he remembered his knee pads. They're going in somebody's living room here. 
that's a nice setup. I would hate, hate to have it ruined by these two. Pritchard has a point. You're not going to win the championship outside the ring. Princess or not. More table service. They have taken this to the outside here and a shot to the midsection. Fans, please be careful to the outside. These two who are tearing into each other. Boom! Man. We're gonna need new tables at the Desert Rose after this match. Princess Reyes is on Dream Street right now. He's just been taken to the cleaners over here by, by Ricky Mandel. Oh! Right into the pole. And now look at this. Atomic wedgie on Princess Reyes. And that was perfectly executed, that Greco Roman wedgie on the outside. More table service. Oh, big and boy. right into a face. Oh. Oh. She just broke that table time. Now see, the people at Desert Rose are, are hospitable enough to let us use, a, use their venue. And how do we pay them? Like, This is the most interactive I've ever seen, the, seen a crowd anywhere here in the state of Arizona. Looks like Mandel intends to take out the trash, Thomas. And a thumb to the eyes that ensures that he's not going to be dumped in anybody's trash can anytime soon. Amazingly enough, they have not counted to 10 yet in this match. I'm, I'm starting to question uh, Paul Pritchard's ability. Actually, I don't question it at all, at all, Kirk, because Paul Pritchard realizes the importance of this match. He's not going to let a, let a match for the vacant championship end on a, on a count out, or, not, or especially not a double count out. I think they ought to give him a map test. See One way or another, there has to be a winner. He real, he realizes this. So Paul Pritchard, he's letting the rules be relaxed a little bit over here, even though he just wound up with a with an ice bucket over his head. This is this is not your uh, typical championship match. This is just the kitchen sink on yes, display, when, Thomas. Yes, when I think of the, the the great championship matches of my lifetime, you know, Bachwinkle against Ganya. I mean, Pat O'Connor against Gene Kaniski. Um, Funk versus Briscoe, and they all had ice buckets involved. <laughs> Off the ropes right here, they're back in the ring. Ducks under a clothesline. Little Princess Ray is over here with a double leg takedown, and now it's up at the same time. Just driving the air out of Ricky Randall. Hook at the fall leg. Paul Pritchard making the count, and he kicks out at two. I bet he's wishing he still had that uh, balloon up his, up his trunks to soften the blow there, Thomas. And now just stomping away here. You hear the voice cracking uh, of Princess Rey is there. You gotta wonder uh, what type of training he's doing outside of the ring. It seems like the voice is... Uh, now, wait a minute. We, we, did not, we did not bring into question the train the training techniques of Los Suave, so let's not start over here with Princess Reyes. <laughs> I'm just not so sure how a princess trains for a championship match. He's like he's more concerned on that glitter, but he's stopping the hell out of Mandel right Yeah, here. either way, it's, he's got the advantage right here, hooking the far leg and only getting a two count. Maybe if he wasn't so lackadaisical right there, probably, probably would have got a three, who knows. And he needs to work with Paul Pritchard, though. He can't make it to 10. I'm not so sure he can make it to 3. We want to give him a math to it. Hard shots right there. Elbow right in the mush right here off the ropes. 
by the nips, Thomas. And that is just an inverted titty twister right there. No other way to call it, but I mean, it, that's all I can say. And fills it over the other side of the ring by his aureoles. You don't want to do that to a princess, Thomas. Charges in the corner, but met with the boot of it. Of Princess Reyes. Oh my god. I don't know what you and, call it uh, other than painful. And an inverted suplex right there. That was a, that was well executed. This is what we want to see more of. And kicks out at two. Looks like Mandel's getting all choked up. Demanded that they call him Princess Thomas. And try to get the crowd behind him, but I, I don't think he's endearing himself with anything that he's done tonight. tonight. He needs to stay focused on Ricky Landale, though. And so that he can avoid things like this here. Gorilla press slam out of the out of the corner. And down goes Princess Reyes. But Ricky Landell has taken such an inordinate amount of punishment that he can't immediately capitalize. Well, if he would have conditioned like Princess did and gotten into the same physical shape, he might have had a better shot at that. He just didn't commit to the training, Thomas. Those mistakes were made in the gym. Hard to argue that as these two are just dropping right hands on each other. Looks like Glendale has a slight advantage here, just dropping right hand up the right hand and knocks him down with a big clothesline. And a drop kick right on, right on target right there. Ducks under a clothesline of his own. Oh, right to the face. Huh? And neither the face. Nails him with a crescent kick. One, two. And not gonna be enough of this exchange. It's like the princess uh, is holding his face. May not be so pretty anymore, Thomas. Never was to begin with. But. That depends on who you ask. You know, he's, he came out there yeah, telling everybody. For this reality. And now he's got him, at, got him right up here, Ricky Landale. This is the opportunity that he's looking for. But no, counters out of it, kicks to the shin, and nails him right there with a the big, with the big knee to the face right here. And, and a super kick right, be, right behind it. And Princess Reyes, has just wrested away control of the, of the contest here. He's the best, Thomas, you heard it from him. He better not waste time on here if he is the best. I don't think he was gonna get him with that, with that cover right there. I think it was just a test of his wills. Looks like he's also a little bit frustrated with Paul Pritchard's uh, lack of affinity for arithmetic. Oh no. He's got the tiger in his hand. Carl with the K, Thomas. He's got Carl. Oh, and Paul Pritchard said he's had enough of this crap. You know, Rance was probably just giving him some advice on his counts. Takes it a little personal. But meanwhile, while, while Princess Reyes was over there getting punked out by Paul Pritchard. He's got him. He doesn't know yet, but now he does. He's got him on the throat. Carl with the has got him on the throat right here. And a cow slam. him. Now, is that considered interference? Could this be it? One, two. You and I know it's not a different uh, combatant getting in the ring, but man, Paul really believes that's a, a tag team partner of sorts. That's, that's arguable. And he's, as he's just drawing strength from Kyle here, uh, we, we, we can obviously see that his best friend is his right hand. <laughs> now Ricky Landale swings him over here, but scoring for a neck breaker. 
just out of the way to get Paul Pritchard move here. I think Pritchard's better off just standing outside the ring. Let these guys get at. Shot to the midsection. And just jammed the spine right there. Could this be it? One, two, and three. And we've got a new EWE Heavyweight Champion. I did not see that coming. I thought Carl Vake was going to be the icing on the cake for Mandel. It's like him and his uh, right-hand man are going to have to go home empty-handed tonight. No puns intended. And if you thought Princess Reyes was insufferable before, now that he's the heavyweight champion, we're all going to have to <laughs> going to have to put up with his with his shenanigans. But nevertheless, he is the EWE Heavyweight Champion, and he earned it in this match, albeit by nefarious means. Princesses never look better than in gold, Thomas, so rightfully so. The fans do not look happy, though. He's rubbing in every single one of these fans' faces, that, especially the ones that gave him, that gave him the abuse on the outside. Princess Reyes is your new heavyweight champion. And I can tell you right now, EWE is not going to be the same after this. It's about time, you know, you have a man with a title with such a physique, such an affinity for the ring, a, a clinic of technical wrestling. And the fans, I mean, they're silent because they're stunned. That's such a great, great combatants here in EWE. Really? Because our speed looks like disgust out in the crowd. Well, he is your heavyweight champion, and still to come, we have got one heck of a main event.